Welcome all to Romantic Tarot. This is, um, these are romantic predictions for the week ahead, right? Each of the 12 zodiac signs is going to be, um, is going to be rep represented. We start here with a general message. Um, great for cross-watching because I'll timestamp them so that you can see it right away. You can just go to whatever zodiac sign you wanted some insight into. Um, this is for couples and for singles. I will tell you specifically if there's more energy coming out for couple or single. But above all, it's romantic energies for each of the zodiac signs. So sensuality, romance, love, that kind of gushy stuff is what we're going to be going into today. Always there is an extended video that will give you insight into who is coming towards you down to their eye color and hair color sometimes, but definitely their emotional construct, what they're going through, what they're like, what you can expect from them, why you're attracted to them, what kind of relationship you'll have. Those kind of insights you'll find in the extended video and that link is in this description box and in the comment section. So it's just, just like the regular zodiac signs, you'll see. All right, guys, let's get into it. Yes, I will be writing down the timestamps so that as soon as I upload this, I can list the timestamps and I don't have to wait. So let's get right into it. We're starting with Scorpio. Sub tribe, thank you so much for all your support. Let's get into this. Scorpio starting at 140. I have already premeditated on the cards, cleanse the car car cards and clarify their energy. If I stutter, it's because I stutter. <laughs> Just like plain and simple. Let's get into this. Scorpio, what are the love messages for you this week? You are good enough. Full moon in Virgo. Oh, if you didn't just get a chill, I don't know, because you know we have a full moon in Virgo coming up, correct? Okay, so this is about letting go and releasing all of those things that do not serve us, which is especially those things in our hearts that make our hearts sag down and make us stay in relationships that are plain and simple, not supporting us. Maybe they're arousing us, maybe they're exciting us, but do we ever feel whole? Do we ever feel complete? This is our time to sift out what really, really, really is just causing chaos and hecticness in our life and not getting us anywhere or moving forward or deeply connecting us to our soul space, to our spirituality, or to our happiness. Are we happy? Plain and simple, Scorpio, that's the question. And why would you not let yourself be happy? You are good enough. This is this emotion that you have to own and release anything that does anything and anyone that is not serving you feeling this way. You're good enough. You're good enough. You're good enough. You're good enough for them. You're good enough for the person that you love. You're good enough for the person that you want. Do you want the right person for you? Are you wanting somebody because you're wanting to fill in those holes and spaces inside of you as opposed to really be loved? Are you wanting somebody because you don't really want to be loved? You're just trying to avoid love. These are all these kind of questions that we have to ask ourselves come especially this Virgo full moon. It's like right there for you guys. This is, in other words, divine timing. Scorpio, you are on point. This is the time for you to clear out anything that is false, anything that is fake, anything that is weighing you down, extra baggage that you are carrying around. Look, we all have baggage. It's not if we have baggage or not, it's how we carry it. But are we carrying around somebody else's stuff? Like, what are we carrying this bag for? Is it even our bag? What's in that bag, baby? This is the time to go through each of the bags that you carry around as a part of your baggage and think, yep, this is a part of me. Yep, this is a part of me. Wait, what is this stuff even? I didn't even, this isn't even my bag. We have been carrying around baggage that isn't even ours, Scorpio. And that could translate into your relationships with that person as well. Is it baggage that you don't even need? Is it baggage that, you, <laughs> that you've been carrying around and... Like, why? It's just stressing you out? 
Or have you been feeling like you're not good enough for the person that you're with or you're not good enough for the person that you want to be with? And maybe it's because of all these burdens on your back. But once you start to sift through those burdens, you'll realize there's a lot of stuff here that I can get rid of. I don't need this. I am actually better than I've been giving myself credit for. This is that energy that you're going to have to sift through this week to see what goes and see what stays based on what makes you hear and know every day that you are absolutely 100% good enough. This is also Virgin Goddess um, energy. So this is a beautiful time to really kind of cleanse out any kind of like dark matter that's swarming around you. And, and I know, I, I got it. We like dark matter. Like, it's not about that, is it though? When we really want to connect, it's not about, it's even not even about excitement. But I understand that you guys connect through death and rebirth, through conflict. I get that. But this is what don't you need? What really don't you need? What is superfluous? This also lends me to believe that there might be some sort of energy coming toward you that is new, that is fresh, and that you may not even try to touch because it's too pure for you. It's too light. It's too good. It's too kind. It's too sweet. But ultimately, what is that? Why are you really keeping yourself from that? Because you don't feel good enough. Because you feel too ugly, too dark, too demonized, too possessed, too crazy, too psychotic, all of those things that you the almost too frequently Scorpio label yourself as could be bringing you down and keeping you from the love of a lifetime. So ask yourself these questions. Is my belief of myself keeping me from somebody who will really, truly, and purely love me in a transcendental way that makes me my highest, best self? Or am I getting in my own way and still feeling like I don't deserve this kind of love? Oh, look, there's another loser with a criminal record. I better go get him. You know what I'm saying? And that's not to say that people with criminal records are not wonderful people and that they can't, like, you know what I'm saying? But it's like, would you, what, it, if they are wonderful people, would you even recognize them? Or do you just keep recognizing the people who make life difficult for you and make you always feel like you have something to prove and something to struggle for and something to fight for? So what you're really in love with is the conflict, not the person, ultimately completely avoiding love every single time. This is that full moon that will cleanse all that energy out for you and set you up for something really beautiful. Oh, wow. Once again, also earth energy. Two plus eight is 10. So something is coming to completion. This is the card, the union of hearts. A love connection defies explanation Something has already been planted for you, Scorpio. Planted to you, planted for you many years ago, maybe even lifetimes ago by fate. You were seeds. This is the master cultivator. It's giving me chills how this is freaking working out. It's crazy. This is the master cultivator, Scorpio. This has been planted. Seeds have been planted many, many, many years ago. And here we are. Not only roots. Our roots have grown. Our seeds grew in the dark. Our Roots entangled, but they did it um, subterranean. They did it underneath the surface. So we could feel them, but we couldn't actually be with them. And as we grew little by little, we weren't, we weren't big enough or ready enough to be able to entangle with each other. This is the card that's saying now not only are we up and in the sun and growing and we're full blossoming plants or trees, but we're large enough and mature enough to find each other and intertwine. This is divine timing, Scorpio. The two of you are coming together. You're realizing each other. You're recognizing each other. If there's been conflicts in your long-term relationship, they are, they are being just, they are, they are being, um, like I said, shed, like you're getting rid of that old baggage that you don't need. That was, is keeping you in the way of real happiness. And now 
is connectivity time. It's the time to make connection and contact with that extremely special person that has been growing just for you. There's earth energy all over this. So you may be dealing with an earth sign, most particularly a Virgo, but I will get deeper into that in the who is coming towards you. Once again, that link is below. I'll see you guys over there. Okay, moving on. Sagittarius, let's see where you guys are at. 10.04, Sagittarius, what energies are coming toward you for love and romance and sensuality? Show the world the real you, oh my gosh. So full moon in Aquarius, this is also time to let go, but it's like time to let go of the truth. So it's about to, you're about to release some serious truth bombs onto somebody, finally telling them how you feel about them, finally telling them what you feel about them. So this doesn't have to just, be, this could be very good energy. It, this is very good energy, but it's very honest energy because Aquarius is the truth bearer, the water bearer, the water is the truth. So this is, a, you're about to release the truth. So you're about to tell somebody and admit how you feel for them. You're about to lay it on the line for them. You're about to start new love and get new love by being exactly what you are out loud, never having to change and yourself and your charisma and your character being what attracts the right person because the right person will always want the real you. But you're about to drop some truth bombs. That's what I'm saying. And I think that that is essentially a big part of you is that you always drop truth bombs you don't stop, you don't, you don't care, you know, wave it in the air like you just don't care, that's Sagittarius energy, but that's really going to serve you this week, is re releasing that truth into the world and being who you are and not worrying about public opinion or worrying about what somebody might say to you or how mad they are at you, you're just being honest, you're being honest about how you feel and who you want to be with, and it's working to your favor this week, it really is. Um, now, how can this play out? This could be you being honest and truthful and telling somebody what you really think and them dumping you because of it. That, yeah, oh no, 100%. But you know why that's good news? It's because that person didn't belong with you and what were you doing with them to begin with? This is a cleansing, like all full moons. It's a clarification bringing you back to that truth space, that space that really works for you, that space that really brings you closer to true love and romance that place that will give you real happiness and real love. And if you're not with somebody who really loves you or can really handle you, then stop wasting your time and on to the next. Now, when you drop these truth bombs to the right person, this is literally show the world the real you. You're not gonna be able to resist. You actually may be flinging them off you and many people, many suitors, many options, for those of you who are looking for many options, but this is definitely who you are being what appeals to people or makes people realize they don't belong with you. Either way, there's a cleansing here that is ultimately the best thing that could ever happen to you. And I'm actually really excited about this for you. Um, express love through gifts. A small token of love can convey great appreciation. Oh, maybe this isn't just a truth bomb. Maybe this is like the bomb. Maybe this is engaged, because this is my engagement card. So I don't know what you guys are up to, Sagittarius, but this is 100% I love you. This is 100% showing somebody that you really care. If you've been hesitant, if you've held back, if you've been insecure, uh, are they gonna like me? What are they gonna think about me? Do they want me the way that I want them? It's a big old answer of, you just got to go for it. You just got to show what you feel inside. You can be dealing with a Pisces or some sort of water sign, certainly. Um, but this is also sometimes meaning the pearl of wisdom, which also relates to the truth. So dropping the truth and giving somebody, giving somebody the gift of the truth. Somebody might fall in love with you just because they love the fact that you are so honest and that you though you can be brutally honest. Sometimes this brutally brutal honesty is the best, most refreshing thing. And that's what I feel. Above anything, I feel this refreshment, this like washing clean. There's been a heaviness. There's been a, like a, a, a cloggedness, a suffocation that's been coming. Now you feel like you can are actually safe 
to finally express your real feelings, to finally find the words to say it right, or if not words, actions to say it right. You could be getting up the nerve to basically ask somebody to marry you right now. Like that's, that could be like, how am I gonna say this? How am I gonna say this? Oh my God, I'm really nervous, but how am I gonna do it? You're gonna do it the perfect way because if that person really deserves to marry you, they are the perfect person. Believe me, you'll find the right words. This is the perfect time to do it. But I love how you feel like this is like the pearl and this is the pearl and you're actually handing them the truth and that's like your engagement ring is the truth that is that what actually bonds you or or brings you closer together there could be some energy especially if you're in a long-term relationship of the two of you having not really been able to communicate or feeling that there was a gap somewhere between you and this energy is going to fill it in basically bridge that gap by just flat out coming out with whatever was on your mind and whatever was on your heart, not holding any of it back. The two of you, both back and forth, giving it to each other. Yes, I heard it. Mm -hmm. There's lots of ways to show you care, Sagittarius. But there's definitely an unveiling of something that you may have been holding back or because you didn't know what to say, because you were afraid of uh, being misinterpreted, because you've been having problems and you just didn't feel a person would listen. They are listening now. And the truth is going to set you both free. This is just I'm like a huge whoosh of liberation and freedom from all the freaking heaviness that has been weighing the two of you down or that has been weighing you down, Sagittarius. You can finally just like be yourself again. This is literally liberation from all the heavy and I really, really love it for you. So if you're curious about what your person is feeling or who you're gonna be dealing with, please do click that link below. That's in the extended who is coming towards you. Love you guys. All right, here we have um, Capricorn energy, 1622. All right, Capricorn. Let's see what's coming toward you this week. Believe in the impossible. <sighs> wow. All right, now I'm gonna test you. You ready? When you see this card, what do you see? Do you see the bubble popping or do you see the bubble rising? Because that's gonna tell a lot of where your mindset is at and what's ultimately gonna happen to you because of where your mindset is at. So if you see this bubble actually floating downward and you, when you first saw this card, you saw, oh, it's, gonna, it's, about, it's about to pop right? But if you saw it rising up as if something hopeful is happening, something is dawning, something is about to be born, that's a whole different energy. And I love to test, please leave in the comment section, like what is, how do you, how do you see this card? Because it tells me a lot about where you're at and what you're ready for. Now, believe in the impossible is simply magic and beauty and all of that not being mystical, it's actually real. So this is essentially, what did you think in your wildest dreams would never happen? Maybe you've been lonely too long. And lots of times that's what I'm feeling. Lonely too long, um, uh, even if you're in a relationship, you've been feeling isolated from each other. This is almost like winter magic. It's like oh, the scene from Harry Potter where um, he sees the doe in the forest at a time when he thought nobody was there to help him. It's like, how is this happening? What's going on? There's no way this is possible. You're about to get some divine intervention, Capricorn, and some divine help that's actually going to shed a lot of light on and guide you in the direction that you need to go to get closer to your person, the person that you're with, or it's gonna lead you closer to the person that you're supposed to be with. This is an energy that is pulling you and drawing you in the right direction, so all you have to do is have faith in it. It could even be like something is about to burst, as in if there's been a holding back, if there has been a stalemate, if there has been like the two of you have not been able to talk, you're about to be able to speak to each other again. You're about to be able to find words for each other that will open up the floodgates and let the juiciness happen again. It's almost like things have run dry and things have run stale for you, Capricorn. And this was just a horrible feeling of, <sighs> like, I need some water. I need some, I need, I'm, it's coming, it's flowing. It's like you're going to get that relief that you've been begging for and praying for, if only from your heart, because you couldn't say it out loud or you've given up so much hope that you 
wouldn't even ask for it because you would think, oh, it's just a waste of my time and it's a waste of my energy. It's not a waste of your time and energy and you're about to get some divine intervention rescue. The impossible is about to happen. This could be you're finally hearing from somebody that you haven't heard from in a long time or somebody that you never thought liked you or you didn't think was interested in you suddenly giving you that eye and you realizing, wait, what? <laughs> you know, that kind of energy of like, it's going to blow you away. It's going to really excite you and it's going to bring you back to hoping and having faith again. Mmm, treasure your loved ones. It is important to love others deeply. This is divine feminine energy. So you know what this tells me? Because you see what? You see almost the same shape. You almost see the same shape. Oh, I love that. So maybe something is about to drop and this could be also be fertilization and building a family. So if you, the two of you have been trying to conceive, this is conception. This is the seed finally hitting its mark. Um, but also this is, if you've been stale and dry for a while and haven't been getting none, this is some juices is about to flow and something's about to go into something, 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 something's going down, something, 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 somewhere. This is about that stalemate is broken and the floodgates are now open. And like I said, the juiciness is returning. It's also about receiving. You understand? It's about being receptive and like being handed this beautiful gift. Um, so you don't have to do anything. This isn't something that you need to uh, like execute. It's not an aggressive energy. It's not a masculine. It's a feminine. So this is going to happen to you and for you, not through you and because of you. Are you ready for that? And honestly, I got a feeling like it's that, that, like you guys are not only ready for it, you're not even going to be looking for it. You're not going to be expecting it. And that's a wonderful mindset to be in with this energy because if you were expecting it, you'd probably try to do something that ended up pushing it away. This is going to come as a total refreshing surprise for you. Just let it happen. Let it happen and let it flow. Receptivity. It could have something to do with connection through your family. You could be introduced to somebody randomly that you never thought through friends or family and opportunity is coming and falling into your lap that it's like, Wait, why didn't this happen years ago? Or why did it take so long for this connection? Because of the timing. It's all, it's all timing. It all had to be ready. But something is about to literally fall in your hands that can be very beautiful and long-term. Or the seed is about to be planted for something long-term to happen. If you are curious about who is coming in towards you or about um, uh, what they're feeling, who they are, like what, what, emotionally what they need, all of those things, that information will be in the extended who is coming towards you and the link is below. I'll see you over there, guys. All right, we move on to Aquarius. Aquarius energy starts at 22, 28, let's do Aquarius energy. Who is coming toward, no, 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 not who is coming towards you. That's in the link below, FYI. Aquarius, what in terms of love and relationships is coming toward you? Step out of your comfort zone, North Node. Anytime the Node cards come up, I always tell people, head on over to Astrology Cafe or whatever site generates free natal charts and find out where your North Node is. The reason why is because your North Node always guides you to your highest fullest potential. If you find out where your north node is, find out the zodiac sign that it is actually situated in, that is zodiac sign, the characteristics of that zodiac sign are going to be your biggest challenges, but also reap your biggest rewards if you work at them and you focus on getting better at them. That is your key to success throughout your whole life. It is exactly what you need to accomplish all your dreams. So what is it that you feel like you have weaknesses in, Aquarius? What is it that you feel that is difficult for you? Maybe it's opening up. Maybe it's showing your emotions. I'm just working in stereotypes here because honestly, you can have your own different issues, but whatever those issues are, allowing yourself to be loved, allowing yourself to be vulnerable, those are the top for most people. What is it that you feel that makes you feel really, really uncomfortable? That's the thing that you're going to need to do and confront and to start to learn to get comfortable with in order to be led toward 
your true connection or become in communion with the person that you're with right now. There's a sense of backing down into that space that is easiest for us. And that space that's easiest for us does not get us our true love, does not get us our king or our queen. It's not what happens. It's just not, it, it doesn't. It's it, what's, what's easy is what's old and what's familiar and it's basically stale and worn out and basically not like a drug, but like, um, Think about eating mac and cheese every single night. It's great to have comfort food sometimes, but if you have it all the time, it's gonna cause a heart attack. And if you feel like you've got major blockages, Aquarius, it's because you need to start challenging yourself and opening up to things that normally would have been more difficult for you. Why are you getting this message now? Divine timing, somebody wants to come into your life, but you may totally brush them off or make them think you're brushing them off and you're not interested at all because of the things that are difficult for you that you're not facing or confronting. So go figure out where your North Node is. Let me know, I'll even help you. You can leave it in the comments below. And I'll tell you what your major struggles or challenges are. And if you work on those challenges and struggles, you're actually going to be opening yourself up to almost like just your true pathway and destiny in terms of love and romance. This is also what's been difficult for you. Plain, like in terms of real, real life, have you been having a hard time saying I love you? Have you been having a hard time believing somebody can love you? Have you been having a hard time showing that you care about somebody? Have you been feeling or questioning the validity of your relationship and being interested in somebody outside of your relationship. It's those difficulties and challenges that are going to be so effective this week for you to confront. And they're going to teach you so much and open so many doors toward romance for you. Let's pick your next card. Romance. What, what did I say? Lavish the one you love with personal attention and affection. This is the energy of two plus five, which is seven, which means creation. What are you creating? Aquarius, this is show them. If you were looking for a sign, you just got one. Show them. Be or let yourself be swept away on some sort of fantasy cruise of just this this. Oh my God, this too good to be true. Stop. Don't even put that label on it. Just let yourself be carried away. Let yourself be open. Let yourself be happy. Let yourself be trusting. Let yourself melt into the energy of another. And that's difficult for you. I get it. But guess what? It's coming towards you. You're about to meet your most difficult adversary, the love of your life. There you go. They're coming in. They could be a Pisces, they could be a water sign. It just, it doesn't even matter. What matters is that they're emotional and they're gonna cause emotions in you that are gonna make you feel so good, you're gonna get scared. If you get let yourself get scared and back down, that's South Node BS, you don't wanna do that. You wanna let yourself be comfortable with this because romance is about to knock at your door. Please, please answer and don't try to spray that stuff in the air like I don't want romance anywhere near me. It's coming and you really do want this and it's something that makes you uncomfortable, but it's going to be the most divine discomfort you could ever, never imagine. So if you're curious about who is coming towards you and who this person is, what zodiac sign they are and what they feel inside, head on over to the who is coming towards you. It could even give you access to the current partner that you're with in terms of um, emotionally where they're at right now. That link is below Aquarius. I'll see you guys over there. All right, we move on to Pisces. All right, Pisces, let's see what energy is coming toward you this week in love and romance. And yes, there is always a full love and romance spread that comes with the extended video for um, um, the zodiac signs as well, FYI. Your hard work is paying off. Oh, new moon in Capricorn. So what have you been working on? Mm, or who have you been working on? Mm. We all know stereotypically that you guys fall in love when somebody smiles at you. Um, but this is essentially, you've been gunning for somebody, you've been working for somebody, or you've been working really, really hard, and maybe it's that hard work 
like just in your life, on your life path, that's going to lead you to romance. Either way, where you have been putting your focus is where you're drawing in love and romance for this week. So you tell me, Pisces, have you been working on somebody specifically? Have you been working on yourself specifically? Where has most of your focus been going? Because that is going to be the conduit to you either meeting somebody or connecting with somebody on a deeper level. This is Capricorn energy. Um, I don't know if you're dealing with a Capricorn. That information would be in the who is coming towards you. But this is a sense of taking the bull by the horn and trusting. So... Um, because it's it's not a full moon, it's a new moon energy, which means you're also receiving. But a lot of times it's like actively receiving, like allowing yourself to believe and be open to the love that's coming towards you. It could be an unexpected love, somebody that you had a hard time communicating with or connecting with, but that could have just been the Mercury retrograde. Essentially, if you have been pursuing somebody, if you have been thinking of somebody, if you have been talking to somebody but not knowing if they like you the way that you like them because you know you already like them that way, there there's an energy of it finally breaking through and yes they do like you too or yes they're interested too or yes your partner wants to spend more time with you or the time that you've been putting into your relationship with your partner that may have been like met with some sort of pushback or walls or discomfort Finally, the floodgates are opening, breakthrough, huge breakthroughs in love and romance coming in for you. Your hard work is paying off. Or like I said, there can just be some sort of, uh, um, if you've been working really hard and not even looking for love, Pisces, it's coming at you. And it's going to be coming at you through a project that you've been working on. Clearly unexpected, like, because you haven't even been focused on love and romance, though it it seems like you always are, but that's just, hey, you're always ready. That's a good thing. But it's almost like this is coming through, like somebody, it's like they're interested in what you're interested in. You guys are on the same path. You meet them when you go to work, when you're at work. This is an energy of, of where, like I said, where you've been putting your focus, basically breaking through a romantic floodgate for you. Oh, wow. Be in the present and dream of the future. When we dream, everything is possible. Now, dreams for you guys mean something that they don't mean for anybody else because dreams and reality for you are the same thing. So all I can tell you is this is divine timing. Something is coming into perfect synchronicity. And it's almost like if you have been pursuing your dreams, your dreams are about to come true and love and romance is going to be a part of it. So you could be getting a lot of great gifts and a lot of great breakthroughs this week, Pisces, um, that have to do with career and have to do with um, um, your profession. All of those things like um, that you could be making major breakthroughs and suddenly once you break through that person is there ready for you, or now you're ready to meet them. And now you've opened the door to the world where they live in. This is divine synchronicity. It's almost like this was this was trying to get in sync with you for a while. This could also mean that, hey, you can finally be with your person. Maybe if you were living at a distance from each other or um, you're finally moving in together, everything is linking up and everything is syncing up. Anything that you have been focusing on maybe you've been trying to make a uh, headway into um connecting with them more emotionally more deeply um and finally you've been making breakthroughs all of a sudden the doors are opening that's what this means so whether you're a couple or whether you're single whatever you've been working on the divine timing everything is clicking into place this coming week which is going to be beautiful for you and your love life because it's finally going to be with a person that is going to give you or be with you in this dream, like be with you. It's like they finally met you. It's like the finally the halfway has come. They finally come and grabbed you and, and taken you into their arms in a way that they had been closed off to or um, somehow they were incapable of before. It could be you as well. This You could flip these energies as well. Something is finally happening that you have been battering down the, that wall for. You're finally making a breakthrough and like, I see a crack in a wall. Finally, 
finally, like that ram ramming the wall, and finally, it, it, you see the light on the other side. So this is major breakthroughs. If you're worried or wondering about who is coming towards you or what they're going through, how they feel, who they are, that link is below. I'll see you guys over there. Bye, Pisces. Okay. Energy for Aries. Aries, what is coming toward you for love and romance this week? Let's see. Uh -huh. Confidence is your key to success. New moon in Leo, which is a very beautiful energy for you, but also saying receive flattery, receive love, receive attention, receive affection. You're about to receive a lot of attention and affection this week. Um, you're about to be on fire. You're about to be very appealing and very attractive. It's almost like your attractiveness is being volumized. It's being magnified. Um, this could be that you receive a lot of attention and you have a lot of suitors, but it's also a sense of how good you feel. And when you are confident, you attract people to you, people who really want you, like people who want to be a part of that. Watch that you don't attract weaklings. Watch that you don't attract people who will now try to absorb or live off of your confidence. Uh, watch that the people you're attracting are your equals. That has to do with you being discerning. And I feel like you're going to get a lot of choices. There's going to be a lot of, <laughs> like, like a lot of people you could choose from. So be selective, Aries. Go on, get yourself some. This is about you feeling really good about yourself. I don't know if you've been going through a time where you just wanted to be alone for a while, where you really weren't ready to get out there, or you had doubts, or you didn't feel good about yourself. You looked in the mirror, and it wasn't necessarily what you wanted to see. This is confidence returning. This is this is that Leo energy of how could I see anything but beauty when I think of me? And it's not about it's not about conceit. It's about really feeling good about yourself. Leo is that energy of yourself. And it really amplifies the fact that you are the first house, Aries, the house of self. So this is about love of self or love through self, confidence in yourself, radiating that energy of just, I am worth it and I am, I am valuable and people believing it. Every, absolutely, you're just going to be radiating this light that people are going to be attracted to this coming week. And if you're single, this is an exceptional week for you because Aries, now you're going to get a lot of attention. You're going to uh, you're gonna pick up a lot of new numbers. You're going to get a lot of offers at bars. And maybe you might even just foray into even going on first dates. This is the energy of being able to get back into the swing of things if you have not felt yourself. This is also the energy of making major breakthroughs because you feel good about yourself. And it could also be prioritizing yourself over something that's been draining you because this implies that now you're ready to receive. It implies that now you're ready to back down from doing so much of the work and so much of the pursuit and you're just sitting there knowing, sitting on your throne, waiting for them to approach you. That's your energy this week. You're sitting on your throne waiting for them to make offers to you because you realize you've been working too hard. You've been draining yourself. You've been putting too much energy because it's that cardinal energy. You can't help it. Cardinal signs want to make moves. We want to make paths. We want to do the work, but sometimes it's too much because you end up expending, like you end up exhausting yourself and then being ending up with somebody who's really not giving you enough. So this is your time to replenish yourself, sit on your throne and just wait for them to notice you, including if you're in a long-term relationship, let them give to you, let them worship you, let them adore you. You could be receiving a lot of affection and a lot of attention from your spouse this week, all over you, receiving gifts, taking you out, let it happen, soak it up, you're worth it. Do something for someone. Give your attention to another. So this is Virgo energy. Um, if you're curious about who's coming towards you and what they're going through, that link is below. Um, but what I wanna say about this card is, in conjunction with this, confidence is your key to success. This is almost like, get ready for somebody to do something for you get ready to welcome in the energy of somebody taking care of you somebody who's patient somebody who's kind but also somebody who does random acts of kindness is ready to give instead of like 
this is Virgo energy. So think about the Virgo full moon. It's cultivation. It's, it's receiving somebody's affections for you. Somebody might be telling you for the first time how they feel about you. Now, look at Sagittarius's reading actually because they got a really great accoutrement to this reading. So this is essentially truth might be coming out and somebody may be te like telling you that they love you for the first time. But there's also this energy of have confidence to receive have confidence to believe when somebody tells you that they love you or somebody does some kindness for you like let it make you feel good like 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 welcome that energy in i'm not saying fall in love if it's the first date but let them treat you let them pick up the tab receive those acts of kindness that are coming towards you with gratitude and happiness. Just let them fill you up, knowing that this is your time to be worshiped and adored. Good on you, man. All right, we're gonna go into Taurus energy. Taurus energy. Taurus, 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 hold up. Okay, so, um, what's waiting for you, Taurus? Let's see. Oh, hello, Cupid's arrow. Look at the bigger picture, full moon in Sagittarius. This is always a very romantic energy, okay? And we'll see if we get its reverse somewhere, like the, uh, the new moon version of this. Let's just see. But Taurus, this is essentially the target that you're aiming at is too small. Widen it. So this could be for Taurus singles saying, hey, I know that you have these particular particulars, these things that you insist, um, these standards, quote unquote, but you better expand your mind a little bit because honestly, you're missing the target. You're missing the good stuff. You're missing somebody that may be right now, not your type or out of range or off your radar. Expand your radar's range. Taurus, like open up a little bit, broaden your mind because there is love there for you. And it's going to be so much easier for you to hit the target if the target is bigger. So date more, go out on more dates, try more things. But beyond that, it's not even about lower your standards. It's about what are these standards even based on? This Virgo full moon is telling us what to get rid of, trying to teach us what to get rid of and what to keep, what's serving us and what is not. What is serving you and what is not in terms of your heart space? What, what are those things, like if, if you've been feeling like you haven't been missing the mark, or I'm sorry, like you're always missing the mark, or that, um, you know, you thought, oh my God, you thought they were going to be so perfect for you, and you thought this was really going to work out, but guess what? It's just because they looked good, and because they were sexy, or because, you know, they, they matched the, the dream fantasy that you, like, painted in your mind years ago. This is not about a checklist. This is not about people are not parcel and pieced up into those little categories. They're not. This is about a whole person. So really looking at the whole as a po I know I heard it. Not that whole. Looking at the whole entire person instead of just whatever criteria they may check off for you or looking at um like like in terms of your standards. Look at your standards and say, "Well, what does it mean to me?" What am I trying to get from those standards? It's almost like reassess why you set those standards to begin with. Because it's like they've almost been like thinned out too much. They've been whittled down too much. They've been whittled down to their most basic and you have to open it and broad it and actually just make it 3D. Like make room for a real person. That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying when I say broaden your target. Like make room for a real person, not just the ideals or the standards or the stuff on the checklist. And especially if this is when it comes to your partner, like make room for them to be a whole person, make room for them to make mistakes, make room for them to be imperfect and love them anyway. Maybe just make room for them because there's been a little part of you that's been closing off. Maybe you've been hurt, you've been struggling lately. There could have been this little part of you that's been, that was closing off without you not 
with you not even realizing you were doing it. And so Taurus, this is the time for you to like send out your arrow and show your love and affection and show that it is for that whole and that entirety, that whole individual, or to show that it's like, hey, it, it's really about love this time. It's not about ego or the way it looks or anything else. It's really about love this time. It's about how I feel. It's about how you make me feel. It's about a whole connection, like really connecting with that three-dimensional individual instead of just that two-dimensional checklist. Um, look at the bigger picture. It could also be speaking to forgiveness, forgiving somebody. Um, number one, forgiving somebody if you've been having issues or problems amongst each other, like with each other, like really being able to see See the person for all that they are, better or worse. So if if it is for worse, now you know to get rid of them, right? Like see them for who they really are. They may be hot and they may have a black Amex, right? That tit platinum, titanium, whatever, black Amex. But if they only leave the waiter a $3 tip on a $100 check, like do you want some, like look at the whole picture. Like I get it. I get that you like, people looking crisp, people looking fly, people coming from a certain level, but simultaneously, Taurus, how do those people treat other people? Look at the whole picture. Maybe they don't dress so right. Maybe they're awkward. Maybe they don't wear makeup and they're more plain, but also they're awesome. And they talk about all the things that you're interested in and they're, they're a geek just like you, or they're into the same kind of food just like you, or you know, it's like, they're so much like you and you might recognize them if they were like dressed up and had the right hairdo. It's like broaden your, broaden your scope, man. Cause this is about targeting love, not targeting image. You hear what I'm saying? This could also be that you're about to take aim and fire. And when, when I say looking at a bigger picture, you're thinking of long-term romance with somebody or you're meeting somebody that you will have a long-term romance with. But that goes back to my first point, which is there's gotta be real chemistry. It can't just be about image. And really, did you end up with the person that you're with because of image or because of heart? Because they actually really were who you belonged with. These were the questions that you're gonna be facing in love and romance this week. Uh, appreciate this moment. Every situation is an opportunity to grow and find love. You've been thinking about somebody. This is an energy of somebody watching you, somebody thinking about you, somebody looking at you from afar, but you're not being able to approach. Could be them, could be you. This is watery energy as well. Dreaminess, looking back, looking back, like, like really being washed away by this Piscean energy, like having your solid land mass, Taurus, flooded by all this Piscean um water, right? Dreaminess. Who have you been dreaming of? Who who have you been thinking of? Like, who have you been wanting to reach out to? And finally realize, it could be that you're finally realizing, oh my God, maybe I'm not with the right person. I chose the wrong person. Or maybe I'm with, with the perfect person, but I didn't really realize just how amazing they are. It's like looking allowing yourself to be more emotional and see with sort of emotional eyes, like a bigger heart is expanding your ability to love this week, right? Um, every situation is an opportunity to grow and find love. Yeah, this is usually my card of watching somebody, looking at somebody, looking for them, watching them not being able to get over them. Mm. And maybe even being a little bit intimidated to confront them or to talk to them. I don't know, it's almost like you got yourself in a kerfuffle. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Like, are you with somebody now, but you're thinking about somebody else? Or even if you're not with somebody now, like. What's the situation, the circumstance that you've basically like put in between you and the person that you want that makes you think, oh, they're not going to want me or they're not going to want to hear from me? Because you definitely want to take aim at somebody like this is literally taking aim and, and like like having somebody in your sights and and looking at them and seeing them and, and, and thinking about them. It could be internet stalking as well. That, that could be this energy as well about dreaming about somebody and looking at them and, and watching them and wanting them. Um, 
could also be remembering if you've been in a long-term relationship what it is that you fell in love with that person to begin with like your big picture your love the love that the two of you share this really interesting energy i am like if you're curious about who is coming towards you taurus that link is below um so if you want some insight into what is this person feeling about me like are they thinking about me or if i'm thinking about them are they thinking about me too all that kind of energy is in the who's coming towards you. So that link is below. But there's something more here. And just I'm asking you just give me a second. Appreciate this moment. Every situation is an opportunity to grow and find love. Oh, I see. Okay. Every situation is an opportunity to grow and find love and look at the bigger picture. Maybe you've been looking, like I said from the beginning, at too small an area. And this is the time, this is the message, broaden your search, expand beyond. If you're on match.com and you only got people six foot two and above, maybe you need to be like five, eight and above. Do you know what I'm saying? Open up the criteria because what you've been looking at for your happiness is too concentrated and too small. And guess what? Somebody is sitting there waiting for you. There is, there is somebody that, that is looking for you too. There is a great match and you would be, maybe you're missing them. You're missing them because your target area is too small. Broaden it and expand it. Trust me, it's going to do beautiful things for you this week. Now that's mostly for singles. For couples, it's like maybe you've been looking at the little things. And that's not where it's at. Like don't look, look like don't nitpick right? Just look at the whole picture. Look at your whole love. Remember why it's important to you. And remember, look at, look at, when, like step back and objectively look at all that the two of you have and all that the two of you have built together and take some pride in that this week. Whew. Lovely. All right. We're moving on to Gemini. Um, Gemini. Oh God, my nose is so itchy, I apologize. Gemini energy in love and romance. The energy is gaining momentum. You guys have been coming out of a, hold on, I apologize. You guys have been coming out of this period of like, like almost chosen solitude anyway, of feeling like I just can't, I can't deal with people's you know what so this is a situation that if you've been interested in somebody or you've been thinking about somebody something is gaining momentum here they're thinking about you too you're going to learn that they're thinking about you too you're going to have the ability to talk to them finally there's going to be a major breakthrough in terms of maybe you've been thinking that you're ready to get back into the dating game but you haven't been in the dating game you've been purposely keeping yourself away from it but guess what now you're going to start again now you're revving up maybe you're finally going out for the first time in weeks or if you've been going out, all of a sudden it's like now you're starting to find more people that you're actually interested in or that the person that you're actually interested in is interested in you too and you can see something on the horizon. You can see that it's building into something beautiful. This is one of my favorite cards because of this beautiful monochromatic um, scale that you see here from the dark to light. It's almost just this harmony and this like this spectrum. It's like the whole spectrum. It's like, it's like rainbow road, man. It's just guiding you on. You're, you're, this is going to go smoothly this week, Gemini, more smoothly than I think things have been happening in a while. And because this is new moon, this is an energy of new stuff starting to happen. Um, me, it's almost like not only are you like, like you're not afraid to love it again, like there, there is, or, or you're getting closer and closer to seeing somebody that you've been thinking a lot about. Like, you know, that there's going to be a moment when the two of you are going to be together soon. And, and it's like a literal, like time, like chronologically speaking, um, you're going to, you're getting closer and closer and closer to the time where you're going to either confront somebody or see somebody or be able to be with somebody. If you're at a distance from somebody or there's been emotional distance between you, it's like this, this, you're going to be in the same room again. Um, or it's not even about time. Maybe it's, it's just about uh, something is coming and you can feel it and you're excited about it. It's a good thing. It's like you're finally smiling again. That's what I feel. Like there, there's finally this smile on your face again. You're finally able to maybe believe in love again. You know, um, invest yourself in love again. Uh, let yourself like 
be giddy again in a way that you've been closed off to closed off to for a while because you've been in defense mode because you've been in a I'm not dealing with this anymore mode in a I've got to put myself first mode healing mode but now it's like opening up like springtime it's like springtime like you're starting to feel warmth feel more warmth yes Gemini's can feel warmth for cross watchers Maybe it's just that you didn't make them feel warmth. Did you ever think of it that way? I'm just saying. Lots of times we, 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 we cross watch, not for the reason why we're supposed to cross watch, which is to get a deeper understanding and empathize with somebody that we really want to understand on a more deeper level, on a deeper level. But sometimes it's just to be like, oh, what are they up to? And how can I judge them more? And oh yeah, see, I told you, mm, that's what they were up to. It's like, Keep your pettiness off my page. That's all I'm trying to say. That's all I'm trying to say. It could very well be that Gemini was closed down to you because, hey, you weren't making them feel comfortable or you weren't making them feel interested. And the truth is that may be hard to understand or hard to hear, but why? It's liberating. If they're not right for you, you're not right for them. Take off and go get somebody who loves you, man. Go on. But this could also mean your Gemini is starting to open up to you. If you have a connection and you're feeling a connection, it's just with cross watchers. I don't know why I'm talking to cross watchers now, but I'm just going to go with it. It could mean that they're finally in a place or in a space where they can, they can actually entertain a deeper connection or spending more time with you. They weren't there before, but this is the energy, Gemini. This could be you. This could be them of blossoming. Oh, wow. You got your card. Speak the language of love. Loving words have the power to change lives, including your own. So you're going to get some love. You're going to get some loving words. You're going to get some kind words. You're going to get some support. This is twin energy, so it could be twin flame, but I like to stay away from that word. It's just soulmates or divine counterparts. Somebody who gets you. Somebody who speaks your language. And being able to say the right things or they're saying the right things. They're saying the things that you need to hear or vice versa. This is the energy of communication flowing freely between the two of you and you realizing how much you have in common. And so finally opening up and finding somebody that you connect with maybe after a long time of not feeling that and you're going to just feel this flow and this talk and like be laughing and be giddy like I said in places where you haven't been for a long time and it's like it's through conversation that's what I'm saying it's through communication that you're just going to be like become really excited about somebody like I haven't had this kind of conversation in years I haven't had this kind of like oh my god I didn't think people got me this is like really this connection, you're going to feel it because you're focused on the same things. You speak the same language. And this is really some sort of potential. First time in a long time, you're finding some potential, potential, potential. There's also a full moon in this picture. Full moon in Virgo happens just a day before Mercury goes direct. So this is about letting go of all the awkwardness and all the stalemates and all the holds and all the backward motion that you've been suffering from finally being able to express yourself the way you want to and need to. And it's going to basically open open up possibilities and opportunities for you. It's going gonna, it's gonna to make you feel like bought back to life blooming, blossoming again, opening up and broadening, expanding instead of basically going back into yourself or, or stumbling over your words. God, I can't wait to stop stumbling over my words. Um, but yeah, this is like a liberation of sorts of finally feeling a connection. And I feel like you guys, I know you guys are very popular and very attractive, but it's like you haven't been interested in somebody for a while. It's just, they haven't wet your whistle. They haven't excited you. This, you know, and now all of a sudden, boom, connection again. And I'm not saying this is like marriage, but this is like being open or finally some finding somebody that you can be open to and really connect with. And I love that energy. If you're wondering, if you're wondering about who is coming towards you, Gemini, that link is below. It could give you some insights into where they're coming from, you know, uh, in terms of emotionally where they're coming from, who they are, what they like, and basically like who they are if you're thinking about a specific person. Okay. Um, moving on to Cancer. Cancer, what's up? Let's see what we got. Let's see what we got. Okay. Expect, oh, 
eclipse. Now, not bad, but change. Expect powerful change, new moon eclipse. Something new is coming. New moon always represents receiving, but this is an eclipse. So a change in the way that you receive or a change in the amount that you receive. If you've been giving too much or um, if you've been receiving a lot of attention, there could be a harsh change and all of a sudden you feel like things have run dry, right? You were getting a lot of emotion from somebody, things were going well, but all of a sudden they cut you off and you don't know why. Ghosting. Uh, some of you might get ghosted. Now, for those of you who have, have been in a stalemate and haven't been had, having anything in your life and you really need to get some, mm, looking at you, Cancer. I'm looking at me. That's what I'm looking at. Um, change. Like, really, opportunity. Uh, maybe a change of heart, a change of the way that you feel, a change of how you trust, a change of how open you are. What is the most abrupt change you could think of? Because that change is coming towards you. And honestly, I feel like there's also going to be a little bit of unexpected. Like what you've given up on will all of a sudden come back to you. I think Capricorn got similar energy too. So you might want to check out their reading. This is like what you have been, um, what you have been starved of is now breaking through. Oh no, it was Aquarius, I think. You can check them out both, both of them. I'm sorry, I can't remember right now. But they're they're in this reading, so you can look at the timestamps. Um huge change in your love life. Where are you in your love life right now? That's what I have to ask you guys. Are you single? Because if you are single, you're not going to be single for long. There's going to be options, opportunities, and offers that I feel like you're almost going to like not believe at first. Like they're going to take you by storm. Like, wait, you it's almost like you're not going to recognize somebody's hitting on you at first because it hasn't happened in so long. Yeah. Or or like I said, all of a sudden it's like, oh, I was so hot and heavy with this person, but why haven't they, why didn't they text me? Like the worst situation for a cancer to be in is to receive that message that somebody is no longer interested in them when you are still feeling them. So I would not be surprised if that happens or the other happens, depending on where you are. Huge change, especially for people who are single though. Now, if you are in a long-term relationship, this could be leading to unexpected changes, eclipses, sudden breakups, sudden revelations, sudden changes in how you feel towards somebody. It could be all of a sudden becoming closer or somebody opening up or somebody surprising you out of the blue when you didn't expect them to show up or come or somebody canceling plans all of a sudden when you thought that they were going to come. Um, this is, uh, uh, it's hard energy for us. It really is. Even if it's good stuff, it's really difficult energy for us because we don't move that quickly, do we? We don't change quickly. We change very slowly. The only thing that changes slower than us is an earth sign. I mean, it really is. It's like we hold on for so long. So that's why I feel like when this change happens, you may not even know it because, well, subconsciously, you will always know it because you subconsciously, you're going to feel that this change has been on the horizon for some time. Subconsciously, you already got it. Psychically, you already know it's coming. I, I guarantee you, you already know it's coming. You feel it, but you've been either you've been in you've been in denial about it. Whether it's good or bad, you've been in denial about it. You're like, nope, 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 not gonna get my hopes up. Nope, nope, nope. Haven't had anybody that I'm interested in like 15 years. Nope, nope, nope. Bam, it's coming. And you've been feeling it. But you've been feeling it, but you haven't been wanting to think about it or recognize it because you're afraid to feel it. You're afraid to get your hopes up. And I understand that. I get it. I feel you because I am you. But this is also about, oh, I've been really just trying to ignore the fact that my partner isn't as interested in me as they used to be. And I can feel like they're making excuses that don't make sense, but I'm going to just do the cancer thing and like uh, try to compensate by doing too much for them, even though they're doing less and less for me and just pretend like nothing's happening. It's going to be okay because it's got to be okay. But no, it's not okay. And the truth is underneath you have been feeling it and you've known that this is what's coming. You've known it. You've known it. This could even be you thinking about breaking up with somebody, but you haven't been able to find a way to do it. It's coming. It's going to come. It's happening. It's, it's happening right now. A, sh a quick, quick change, a shift. All of a sudden it's going to come out. And you know what, Cancerians? Here's how I want you to feel comfortable. Psychically, you already know what I'm talking about. Get yourself ready and used to it because, hello, you already know it. Now I'm forcing you, yes, 
you have to address it. You have to recognize it. This is not something that you can look beyond anymore. This is something that's going to be in your face, either in a good way or a bad way. And the best way to absorb it and deal with it is to accept it. Like accept it in a way that you don't want to accept it now. Because I know that there are people out there like, no, I'm going to be single for the rest of my life. I'm good here. I'm totally good. I'm good. No, I'm good. That's, that's totally cool. I'm good. You're not good. And you can feel that somebody's on the horizon. You can feel it. You know it. You just don't want to get your hopes up. Well, this weekend, have a conversation with yourself and be like, well, I mean, I can't love them until they're here, but what if, what if? Will my life, you know, will I change? I don't want to change. I love who I am. Maybe that's why it's happening to me now, right? Or on the other side, uh, what if they break up with me? Is my whole world really destroyed? Am I really nothing and meaningless without them? Or is this another opportunity and a chance opening up for me and I had to be pushed out the door because I wasn't going to move out myself? Have that conversation with you, that almost heart-to-heart -heart with yourself this week because it will help you a lot. Back to what you love. Reevaluate your desires. Oh, see, that's the hardcore. What do you really want? This is your road back home, Cancer. Where, where is your heart really at home? What do you really want? It could very well be somebody coming back from the past, but... I don't want to get your hopes up with that. What I'm saying is, what is it that you really love? What is it? What is it? You know, if you've been telling yourself it's okay to be single, but never really believing it, get real with yourself. That's basically the message of you're going back to what you really love. Really reevaluate what you want and why you want it and why you've been telling yourself it's okay and why you've been telling yourself to suppress that most powerful part of yourself, which is your psychic ability. You're so psychic, it's ridiculous. You're so psychic, you're creating and manifesting for everybody else around you all the time. That's why you're always saying, well, why? I just thought of that five years ago. Why is it happening to you? Because you're manifesting for somebody else, as always. That's how crazy powerful you are. So don't, don't close off your psyche this week, Cancer. Open yourself up to it. Realize it and reevaluate what is it that you really want. Because there's a big change that needs to happen for you to actually be the level of happy that you want to be in love and romance. If you want to know who's coming towards you and what they're experiencing, that link is below. I'll see you over on the extended. I can't say. How to turn the lights on. You see, oh, sorry about that. That there is a definite lighting change because it was getting really dark in here. Um, okay. Now we're on to Leo. Leo. Okay. Woo! I just feel a bell ring. Okay, Leo, let's see what's up with you. Ooh, bring love into the situation. New moon in Aquarius. And who was the full moon in Aquarius? It was Sagittarius. Ooh, Sagittarius is lighting up the fire scene. That's all I got to say. Bring love into the situation. Let it flow. Let it go. Express your love, let them know you love, and receive love because somebody's about to let it go and let you know that, hey, I'm in love with you. Leo, believe them because it's true, especially if it's a Sagittarius. Um, this is about the truth and truth and honesty and finding somebody that you can really dig. Somebody that you're picking up what they're putting down. That kind of energy, right? It's also about letting them know and being open and receptive to who they are, who they really are. What is the truth about them? And what is the beauty about their truth? Be open to celebrating that and appreciating that. Um, and in doing so, you'll, you'll actually bring it closer to you or draw it closer to you. Um, new moon in Aquarius, bring love into the situation. Have you been friends for a while? Have you been friends for a long time? Have you been in the friend zone for a while or trying to keep it there or, you know, you know, but they're not ready or they weren't ready? Come on. This is literally about love springing up from something that's already been planted. It's already grown and you're watering it now and you're starting to see little signs of life. Something is springing up. I really do have a feeling like this is an energy of a friendship 
that is becoming more. But if you are already Leo in a situation or a circumstance or uh, like you're in a long-term relationship, um, shower. This is a week to shower your person with love and affection. Just give it away. Like, or be willing... The reason why I'm saying receptive is because this is new moon energy. And on new moon, we plant the seeds for something to grow, right? We allow the potential for something new to come into our lives. So there is something new coming into your life, but I feel like it's already been planted. It's just been planted as something else. Like a friendship. Finally saying or confronting your true feelings for somebody and sharing those feelings with that person or them, vice versa, doing it for you. Like admitting, okay, you know what? I really do want something more. I really do um, feel something for like finally being able to open up to you and be basically have the courage to believe that maybe this could work out that kind of energy let's see what this is rest and relaxation is essential we all have a fundamental need to break, take a break you may be going away with somebody you may be traveling to see with somebody you may be going on your first vacation away with them you may just be prioritizing the two of you and basically sinking yourself into the warm hot bubble bath of their love really of just letting it be about the two of you this week uh, uh, like have you been working too hard have you been doing too much have you been like passing going so fast you've been speeding right past love this is about taking time out and allowing the two of you to just sort of melt into each other this is also the energy of something that's been in its resting phase for a while something that's been slumbering somebody that you're extremely protective of or somebody that you know will always have your back this could be pisces scorpio or cancerian energy it's definitely an emotional person a tender person but the who is coming towards you that's in the extended so if you're curious and you want confirmation that link is below um but Leo, this is an energy of just being able to melt into each other, being able to trust and know that they love you and know that they're there and know, like in other words, this is the time to trust your feelings. If you felt that they love you, even if they're not ready to admit it yet, believe me, they are. So just believe yourself. You don't even need them to say it. You already know it intuitively or vice versa for cross watchers. Yes, the love is there. It's maybe scared now. Maybe it's been very tender, very emotional, not ready to awaken, but it is there. And listen, it's dreaming of you, plain and simple. So this is be loving, be giving, be kind, be protective of this person as they slumber so that you know what? When somebody can sleep around you, it means they really, really trust you. That's what it is. And this is like they can curl up next to you. You'll know that they have a level of trust and in you that they don't have in everybody else. This is a sense of this tender thing, this tender, maybe even tender love that can finally be trusted. You can, it can finally like, it can finally like, re, re, like relax. There's a sense of maybe there has been pressure on it or there has been um, too much hype around it or um, because it hasn't been validated yet, whatever. There's just been too much craziness around it. There's an ease here. There's the two of you just being able to prioritize the two of you and realize that you're comfortable around each other in a very special way that is going to lead to something much more. Opening up those doors for a, a deeper committed relationship. This is it. It's been slumbering for a long time, but love is about to hit the front page, Leo. So hopefully I'll see you over the extended. Bye guys. Um, here we go. One, two. 45 Virgo Virgo let's see what the energy is for you Virgo work through your fears new moon in Scorpio I can tell you right now this is also associated a lot with the full moon it's almost going to be affecting you guys in a way that you could be a little bit hypochondriac worrying too much 
um, and that bay being almost like a poison to you. So your challenge is to work through those things that you're afraid of in your relationship. What have you been fearing? Have you been fearing infidelity? Have you been fearing um, loss of interest? Have you been fearing um, somebody's going to leave you? Have you been fearing that you don't like the person as much as you thought you did? <clears throat> have you been fearing they don't feel the same things? What is it? Just confront it. Look it in the eye. What are those fears? What are those fears? And what are they rational or are they not? In other words, you got to confront it with this person. Now, if you're not with this person, right, it could just be things that you need to confront inside yourself in order to eventually be with this person because we always run the risk of self sabotage when we believe those things that poison us those things that poison our brain and make us think that the things that we love the most or that make us happy we're not worthy of them or they're going to be denied to us it doesn't you know what even if they are denied to us it doesn't devalue you as a person so this is you really confronting what are those fears work through your fears what is getting you worried? I think that there's a major concern here. It's almost like you feel a poison, but the poison might be coming from you. Be sure you're not the one that's adding the poison to the water because you've already decided that it's happening when it may not have been. Now, if it, if it is happening, this is a great time to confront it. But first, you have to confirm it. So you have to look at it very practically. You have to almost... It's hard, I know, but look at it objectively and say, why do I feel these things? Where are they stemming from? Are they stemming from my insecurities? Okay, then I have to first and front, first of all, confront those insecurities inside myself and think, what can I do about them? What can I do? What? Because ultimately, we're all responsible for our own emotions. Okay, so what can I do about it? How can I ease this feeling of discomfort inside of myself? By basically, pragmatically working through, like I said, remember that, um, uh, I think, oh, it was a Scorpio reading. Maybe you should watch the Scorpio reading, Virgo, because they got major Virgo energy coming through for you, uh, for them as well. But, but part of the message was probably, I would have to say is for you as well, was why are you carrying the baggage? Now, opening up all the bags that you've been carrying as baggage and and going through and itemizing do i really need this is this really appropriate for me is this even my bag getting rid of some of that baggage that is not serving you and part of that has to be what are the poisonous things you're telling yourself what are the fears that are pushing you to do things that might actually be sabotaging your relationship that would have been fine if you didn't believe these things that were incorrect or like look through like what are your fears telling you are your fears like significant red flags that you have to address okay then address them look them in the eye go this is a perfect time for you to open up all your baggage and lay it on lay it all out flat organize it and decide do i really need this or don't i and just throw the junk away that is mucking things up and weighing you down in ways that you don't need and those things that are significant confront them confront them be like, oh, wow, this bag was full of stinky clothes. I want the clothes, but you need to be washed. So I have to wash them. I've got to figure out how to cleanse this aspect of myself that can be a very good thing if it wasn't sort of filthy from past relationships or past times that I used it, you know, carry on the stinky clothes metaphor for as long as you want. The bottom line is what goes and what stays. And if it stays because it's good or because it is actually significant. Maybe it's a red flag. Maybe maybe you're picking up on working through your fears has to do with, is this fear, fear real? Do I have a reason to be afraid? And if so, well then I have to confront that issue too. You are limitless. You can do anything you choose. This is unicorn energy of dealing with a unicorn, of dealing with a very special person. But the special person in this scenario, Virgo, is you. It's the energy of being magical. So use your magical power. Your magical power is to be able to cultivate things, to be able to plant those seeds in nice, tight, like tight rows where they're going to grow optimum soil, optimum nourishment, all of those things. So what you've got to do is get the poison 
and out, right? This is also a sense of you could be dealing with a unicorn. You could be dealing with a very special person and really just not feeling good enough for them or having to work through a lot of insecurities of that make you feel that you're not good enough for them or maybe that you're too good for them and and you're afraid that you're too good for them and why are you afraid that you're too good for them and do we even belong together this is the time to confront that because you actually have the energy supported by that full moon on monday you have the energy to be able to do it this is the time this is the moment it's like the universe is conspiring to give you the energy and the courage that you need to be able to get through this so you can get to some the heart of the matter and solve some issues that have been sort of plaguing your relationship or your ability to form relationships for a long time. Virgo, if you're curious about who is coming towards you or what they're thinking or going through or dealing with, that link is in the description box below or in the comment section and I'll see you over on the extended. Libra. Okay, Libra, let's see what your energy is. Take time to breathe out, disseminating. Oh, I love this energy. It's such a beautiful, placid, peaceful energy. It's soothing. It makes me feel like I'm already in a bubble bath. Calm down and relax. So Virgo, I'm sorry, not Virgo, Libra, um, the situation that you've been dealing with, the fears, maybe the conflicts that you've been dealing with within your relationship, exhale. It's time to release and relinquish. It's time to let go. This full moon is going to make it very easy for you to see what's not working for you and what is. Let it go. You're ready. And now this card comes up and it suggests, Libra, that you can relax. Like, good news. Good news. Um you don't have to worry about what you've been worrying about or the solution to your problem is finally arrived. Something is allowing you to just let go, not just let go for emotional sake or for spiritual healing sake. No, that you can finally relax. So your situation is about to resolve itself. That's what this card is telling me, that you can finally be happy again, that you can feel that rightness that you haven't felt in a long time, that feeling of I'm doing my part, they're doing my part, or if we weren't right for each other, it's good for the both of us and we're okay, or guess what, I'm ready to be with somebody again, this energy of I'm here. I've, I'm finally here. You finally got there. It's been a long road and it's basically been an uphill climb. This is the get on your sled, baby Libra. You're about to just swoosh down and have some fun and be able to play and release and let go because it's downhill, not bad downhill, but like good, like downhill coasting in ease. You're getting a release and a relief and a little bit of help from the universe to ease up any kind of tension or um, not just tension and stress, but um, difficult situation that you've been dealing with. Yeah, actions speak loudly, express your love through actions. Maybe that's what you're releasing. Take, take time to breathe out. This is, it could very well be, um, you're scared, you're, you're nervous. I felt like somebody nervous, like nervous to, before you ask somebody to marry you or nervous, I gotta exhale, I gotta exhale, before like you call that person for the first time or nervous like, uh, oh my God, are, are they actually looking at me? Oh my God, like that kind of, like that's what you're gonna need to do because there's some sort of actions that either you're gonna do or that is coming towards you that is really gonna be like an offering, an offering of, of love, an offering of peace, a demonstration of what somebody is feeling towards you. This is the energy of divine intervention. So spirit is coming hot and heavy towards you this week, Libra, to hand you or give you something that's actually going to require you to relax and calm down or to help you relax and calm down because we have this raven energy and for right here it's a message of peace so this could be good news even in a divorce case do you know what i'm saying like this is an energy of you can finally feel peace again that's what spirit is telling you 
You can be at ease. Spirit will tell you what you need to hear, will give you what you need to know in order to put you at ease. There's an offer coming toward you, I'm telling you. It's a spirit offer. It's almost like spirit is bringing it on its wings. So trust this energy and just relax. And I, I do feel like it's going to be two-part. Like it's going to be able, you're going to be able to like relax you. You may be meeting somebody that makes you feel a lot of peace. Like the way that they behave, um, the way that they act, the way that they treat people. They could be somebody who's very altruistic, very philanthropic. They're kind. It's like you trust them as soon as you meet them and being in their presence makes you calm down and feel safe. And that has always been like my key. If somebody makes me feel calm and safe, then that's the person that I want to spend the rest of my life with. So this is the energy of, 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 of the, an energy, if not a person, that is making you feel calm, relaxed, and safe. Or spirit saying, you know what? Just breathe. Breathe through this. Breathe through this. It's coming towards you. Breathe. Be ready. Let that lung, let like exhale. Relax yourself. Um, express your love through actions. I'm, I'm serious. Somebody could be offering somebody like a, an engagement ring or, or approaching you or you approaching them for the first time. And it's just this energy of, hi, show. Be ready to show that you love. Be ready to show that you care. Let that be your exhale. Let that be what you're breathing out is the truth about how you feel or the truth about what you think. Um, um, you. Just, just let yourself be you. Oh, there's something else. I Just give me a second. Take time to breathe out. Action. Speak loudly. Express your love through actions. This is also a travel card. Somebody could be surprising you by showing up out of nowhere. Mm -hmm. Or, and then it's like, oh, they take your breath away and just like, like whatever that is, just diffuse your own tension and your own stress by exhaling. Or this is the person that makes you exhale. You can finally breathe again and feel at ease again. It's almost like something's coming toward you. You could be getting a message or receiving a message um, that is good news. It's good. It's a hundred percent good stuff because it's going to help you exhale. Ooh, seeing somebody again for um, th that's at a distance that you haven't seen in a long time, or somebody actually, if especially if you're single, somebody actually making an offer to you. Like, really, somebody making an offer to you. Because their actions speak loudly. Express your love through action. So it's either you, you're the one doing this, you're the one that has to calm yourself down so that you can make this offer, or the offer is about to be made to you. Either way, somebody is going to be demonstrating and showing to somebody that they love them, that they care about them, that this is like good stuff, like things aren't going to move forward and it's going to be joyous because there's been tension building and it could be that fun kind of tension too that energy of i don't know i don't know i'm so excited and it's like <sighs> ease and happiness if you're curious uh libra about who's coming towards you that is in the who's coming towards you <laughs> extended video that link is below Guys, thank you so much for going through the Romantic Tarot with me this week. Uh, hopefully, I will see you all over the, in the extended over on Vimeo. I'll see you guys soon.